the G Way Podcast with Deacon Dirty. Now, how was that received? Because you know, sometimes you, I've hear hear stories. Uh, just recently, in fact, a friend of mine, they were uh, handing out food during Christmas. What was it Christmas or Thanksgiving? I can't remember which one. Mm-hmm. But nonetheless, you know, they had handed sandwich. They had handed a sandwich to someone, and the person was basically offended because they didn't want. The food they obviously they wanted mm-hmm. money. They wanted money, right? You know what I'm saying. So, uh, do you run into that type of thing when mm-hmm. you out serving and people mm-hmm. are like? Yeah, yeah. You said you was hungry. Let me tell you. You said you was hungry. I'm giving you something you to something eat. eat right. If there's something else that you need, I can't. I can't. I can't supply that. You yeah. said you're hungry. Mm-hmm. I'm supplying food. If, right. if there's any other need that you have, you didn't say that. Mm-hmm. So I'm just meeting your need. But you know, we try not to give money. Okay. Um, because for the simple fact, if you're hungry, we'll feed you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you need some clothes, we'll clothe you. Right. You know what I'm saying? You want something to drink, we'll give you something to drink. Mm -hmm. You know, and even though once we do give it, it falls on good ground because we're giving it with a good heart. With a good heart, right. You know, Mm -hmm. but the situation is the situation. And we don't know the situation. Right. So we do what we have to do. You know, Mm -hmm. because like you say, you catch people on the side of the road all the time. Yeah. You know, and I'm I'm not going to lie, sometimes I got something in the seat. And I just hand it over to him. Mm-hmm. He wants something to drink. I give him a bottle of water, mm-hmm. you know. But, you know, we've had, and I can say we only had a few instances like that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, in the five years, there's only been a few. Yeah, it's only okay. been a few. But, you know, mm-hmm. like, you know, starting off this journey, you know, we started out going downtown. Mm-hmm. And I began to say, God, I said, Lord, I said, okay, it got to be more. Got to be more that you want me to do. You right. said help your children. Show me what that means. Mm-hmm. Show show me what that really yeah, means. Because that's kind of vague. Mm-hmm. That, that's, broad, a, that's, a, yeah. that's a broad mm-hmm. statement. And, yeah. that's, and, and so um, back in 2016, we were donated $300,000 worth of toys. Wow. And we were charged with doing an event at the Riverdale Town Center. And they charged me with going to 10 different schools in Clayton County. Mm-hmm. I went to, <clears throat> when I got to the eighth school, it was in Forest Park. And I went to this particular school, didn't know anything about the schools, really, you know. And so when I went in, I asked for the principal, and they allowed me to go in and speak with the principal. She invited me into her office, Mm -hmm. and we were sitting having a conversation. And the subject came up. I told her about what we were trying to do. We were trying to get 100 of her kids to the center, you know, uh, on the 16th of December. Mm -hmm. That was that time. And um, so we we started having a a conversation about the children. And she said, Miss Ford, she said, do you see the basket that's sitting beside my desk? Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, ma'am. She said, do you know a lot of our kids, when they leave here on Fridays, they go home and they don't have anything to eat. Mm -hmm. And she said, what we do, she said, as a... As a, a team here, as my, you know, my teachers, we pull our money together so we can buy food for those students for the weekend. Right, right. And I'm just looking at her. I'm like, what? Right. You know, that that hit my heart. And she said, come and let me show you something. Mm-hmm. We got up and we went down the hall. And she went to this closet. And I'm look, looking like, what, what's in this closet? And so when she opened the door, it was a closet full of coats washcloth, toothbrushes, toothpaste, mm. gloves, any uh, deodorant. And she said to me, she said, this is what we do for our students because a lot of them don't have. She said, you see the washer and dryer that's sitting right there? She said, Georgia Power uh, donated us the washer and dryer because a lot of our kids come to school with dirty clothes. Mm. And when I tell you, it broke my heart. And she said to me, she said, come here. So we went back up to her office and she said, a lot of my kids live in hotels and extended stays. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? Mm -hmm. I never heard of that. Okay. Never Mm -hmm. heard of that. This is in 2016. And And so I've never heard Mm -hmm. of that. I don't know how many people have heard of that, Mm -hmm. you know. And she said, they live in hotels. And I started to cry. And I said, how can I help? How can I help them? She said, well, I can't tell you exactly where they are mm-hmm. she said but what i'm going to do is give you a list of name of hotels okay in the area mm-hmm. well prevalently most of all of my kids go she wrote down five names names when of I, the hotels uh, names of the mm-hmm. hotels i left her office and got in my car and i just bust out and started crying mm-hmm. and i said lord which one do i go to and the first one on the list it was called the atlanta airport hotel I got in my, I, I drove to the Atlanta Airport Hotel. 
when I got to the hotel, there was a, a Caucasian lady at the front desk. Mm-hmm. And I walked in and she greeted me and me and her started to to talk. And mm-hmm. I told her I just had left one of the schools and they told me that a lot of the kids lived in ho- in the hotels and extended stays. And I was like, well, do you have kids that live here? <sighs> no lie. A bus pulls up outside and I'm looking out the one that this bus is pulling up mm-hmm. as you're speaking as to I'm it. speaking mm-hmm. to her about 32 kids got off that bus and I say wait a minute I said I said do these kids live she said they all live here mm. and immediately my heart broke and I just started to cry mm-hmm. and I said how can I help them how can I help these right families? right and that is where the because we care events started mm-hmm. um uh, Area in Need Missionary House um, was formed in 2016. Mm-hmm. Um, and what that was is that I say Area in Need. We want to serve any area, area that's in need. In need. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you don't want to limit yourself from serving people. I don't right. say, care if you live on the south side, mm-hmm. the right. west side, the east side, mm-hmm. the back side. I don't care where you live. Mm-hmm. I want to be able to help you right. and I want to be able to get to you. Yeah. And so, you know, we started that, the Because We Care events at that hotel. We started off, when I say humbly, we started off with one table. Mm -hmm. (laughs) No, I mean, like, no tents. Mm -hmm. We we bought tarps. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we started getting on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We started asking our friends and family for clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, the people that Mm -hmm. started with me, my my board member, that board members I formed, Mm -hmm. Taurus right there. You know, we all made it happen with nothing. Mm. But God say I got plenty. And so we just used what we had in our hand. Mm -hmm. We used what we had in our hand and God opened the door. Mm. And we started going out there once a month. And we would go out there, and I'm going to tell you what, I'm funny. We would go out there with our tarps, Mm -hmm. put them on the ground. I said, no, you cannot fold, put those clothes on, fold them up. Yeah. Fold them up. Yeah, yeah, present them. Present Mm -hmm. them, you know, and and they followed my lead. They followed my lead. And then we started doing hot dogs. Okay. You know, we started, we got a little boiler Mm -hmm. thing. We started doing (laughs) hot dogs. I mean, we start, when I say humbly, Mm -hmm. we started off humbly because our heart was in the right place for the people. And we started the event, and then we ended up coming up to our second hotel. Mm-hmm. We started getting a following. We started getting people that were interested.